In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Omar bin Abid and you are watching Omar Linguistics. So dear viewers, in this lecture we are going to discuss consonant chart, vowels and their charts and we shall also discuss diphthongs in British and American English and at the end we shall look at some subtle individual variation where we look at some vowels which differ among varieties of English. So this video is in English, so throughout this video I'll speak only in English. But if you want to watch the same lecture in Urdu, so I have added the link of that as well in the description below. So let's start. So in previous two lectures we discussed the manner of articulation as well as the place of articulation so in this table you can see along the top we have place of articulation and at the left of this table we have manner of articulation moreover voiceless voiceless and voice distinction is also mentioned above here so these are actually all those consonants which occur almost in all different varieties of English but there are some sounds which are not mentioned in this table but they are pronounced by English speakers so one of uh, these sound is a glottal stop the symbol for which is this just like the interrogative mark so how glottal stop is pronounced so between our vocal folds there is a space which is known as glottis when the space is closed at that time a glottal stop is pronounced all right so what are some examples where glottal stop is pronounced so if you say this combination of word oh 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 when you say oh oh so between these two oh oh the glot glottal stop sorry the fo vocal folds are totally closed and at that time the sound which is pronounced it is a, actually a glottal stop there are many other examples where glottal stop can be pronounced and it is usually pronounced by mo many american english speakers and it is also pronounced in some varieties of british english as well so uh, we have a very uh, famous you know sorry a uh, very famous series harry potter all right so in harry potter if you do not pronounce h at the beginning so actually you might be pronouncing a glottal stop instead of saying harry potter harry you say harry 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 so actually you might be pronouncing a glottal stop in the beginning of this word and in potter if you do not pronounce this combination of sound double t and if you say paha 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 once again you might be pronouncing a glottal stop all right and there are many other examples where such combination appears like double t or just t and speakers pronounce a glottal stop even in some varieties it is very common and people pronounce it in daily life all right so this is one of the sound uh, which we are discussing here glottal stop and actually it uh, can be considered an allophone as well which is the topic of the next chapter then another sound which we are going to discuss here uh, it is actually a flap it is known as alveolar flap alveolar flap or sometimes simply flap or alveolar tap so what happens in this sound that uh, the tongue touches at the alveolar ridge the tip of the tongue actually you know tip of the tongue this is the tip of the tongue the tip of the tongue touches very bri briefly make contact uh, very briefly with the alveolar ridge and come back and 
what are the some examples of uh, this alveolar flap or you can say alveolar tap so once again alveolar flap or tap is pronounced in many varieties of english so the combination like ladder ladder metal metal so in such combinations instead of pronouncing this th sound completely or this d sound completely so speaker pronounces like ladder 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 so they do not pronounce completely th neither they pronounce it completely d sound but between these two sounds so this uh, this sound is pronounced which is known as a uh, flap or alveolar tap i might not be pronouncing it very correctly uh, but if you just make contact uh, contact of your tip of the tongue with alveolar ridge and say ladder 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 so in this way you can pronounce a glottal uh, an alveolar flap for which we have this symbol all right there are also variations there are also other variations as well uh, but that variations are not uh, at the topic in this lecture for this uh, you can follow my other playlist by the name a course in phonetics where i i am discussing the concepts of phonetics in you can say in very much detail all right now we are moving towards vowels so while you know in consonants the air is obstructed at some points in our mouth the air passes almost freely in all the vowels it means the air does not stop just like consonants in our mouth so as the tongue moves for example sometimes tongue move uh, forward sometimes uh, sometimes tongue is uh, significantly higher in mouth sometimes tongue is lower in mouth so actually this will be the manner of uh, articulation in vowels and in this way the air is coming out of the mouth and how we uh, now transcribe or we describe vowels uh, in terms of their place of articulation so first of all we need to know that typically all vo vowels are voiced uh, unlike you know uh, unlike consonants consonants might be voiced and might be voiceless first of all it is difficult to describe vowels in terms of their articulatory terms and it i have discussed this why it is difficult in that series of course in phonetics and actually we can describe vowels more accurate, accurately in terms of their acoustics the vowels are usually described in terms of their articulation based on the following factors we look at the height of the tongue that either the tongue is uh, moving upward in the mouth or moving downward in the mouth or in other words either the tongue is moving close to the palate or the tongue is close to uh, the lower teeth frontness and backness of tongue when we produce vowels in some vowels our tongue move forward and in some vowels our tongue move backward we shall also look at the shape of the lips in describing vowels uh, for example if you say heed heed h w e d heed your lips will be spread in but if you say boot boot your uh, lips will be rounded so based on these um, for example based on the height of the tongue and either the tongue is moving backward or forward in the mouth so we uh, describe vowels as front vowels central vowels and back vowels before this let us look at this table uh, it is actually when it is make like this which is sometimes known as vowel quadrilateral all right so how can we understand this so for example 
uh, here uh, along the top it is front central and back and at the left we have high mid and low high uh, and along the left we have high mid and low so what does it mean so for example if this is a sound e it is very close to the front and it is very close to the high it means it a, it is a high front vowel so if you have a mirror and if you look up uh, this in mirror so uh, you will notice when you say like this word h w d heed 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 you will notice that your tongue is moving forward in the mouth as well as your tongue is moving very close to the palate so therefore it is a high front vowel but if you look at this vowel o which is usually occurring like boot if you say boot boot you will notice that your tongue is still at a higher position but it is moving backward in the mouth but if you pronounce this vowel which is usually coming in words like father if you say father 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 you will notice that your lower jaw go downward significantly as compared to these vowels and you will also notice that when you say father father your tongue is also coming towards your lower teeth so therefore it is a low vowel as at the same time the tongue will also move backward while pronouncing this sound so therefore it is a back vowel uh, now the problem in this chart is that for example from the table we cannot uh, we are not sure that for example it is also a front vowel but this vowel is you can say forward than that this is more forward this is more forward this is far forward but even then all these vowel are vowels are uh, you can say described as front vowels so therefore uh, these are some problems or uh, some ambiguities sometimes occur while studying this type of uh, you can say this type of diagram or vowel coordinator but even then vowel coordinator is used and very important in describing vowels in terms of their articulation so it doesn't mean that we need to neglect it even even then it is very significantly uh, you can say it is very important and it is very close to the actual reality uh, what the tongue is doing but because it is not very visualized or it is not uh, sometimes mentioning some of the differences therefore we have to move to acoustics so uh, if you are a beginner student of uh, phonetics so first of all i recommend you that you watch this complete playlist from this book and then you can move towards that but if you are just studying a subject by the name introduction to linguistics or the study of language and it is just occurring one time in your whole uh you can say in your in your all studies on your in your whole degree then i think this chapter is enough for you but if you are interested you can move forward to uh, that those lectures as well and uh, you can ask your tutor that how much knowledge of phonetics do you need and they provide you and from that perspective you can move to the detailed lectures as well now uh, from vowels we have diphthongs diphthongs are actually they are also vowels but what happens in diphthongs uh, in diphthongs uh, usually uh, there are two vowels there are two elements of vowels which are occurring together for example these are two vowels so they will occur together and what happen that the tongue will glide tongue will glide from one vowel to the other like at or tongue will move from one vocalic position to the other i by which is usually occurring by then we have um, w o u n d wound but uh, but also wound w o u n d wound in wound we have this then in boy we have this all right and many other there are also other diphthongs as well so uh, for diphthongs we can also make a chart how we can make a chart for example we can see that if this is a i vowel so it means we can say that a tongue is gliding or tongue is moving from lower vowel to the higher vowel if it is a like which is uh, the sound in say s a y 
we have this uh, we have this uh, diphthong so we say that the tongue is gliding from mid to higher position here the tongue is moving from uh, mid uh, back mid mid back to front high position similarly o u actually uh, this diphthong o and u which is usually pronounced as o o in british english it is transcribed like this but in american english it is transcribed like this all right then these are some examples of diphthongs i which is in by i my phi sai ao a like in bait eight great late say boy noise royal uh, sometimes uh, there is a triphthong in royal and it is pronounced like royal royal then both home o throw so as i have told you that o u is this sound is actually we should not say it o u we should not say it o u we just say it o so it is transcribed like this in british english both home o throw for example if i can show you this from the oxford advanced learner dictionary so this is the oxford advanced learner dictionary 8th edition and you can see the pronunciation of both Bo both is transcribed like this in british english and in american english it is transcribed like this however if you listen to these words you will notice uh, even you can uh, look at this word in online version of oxford advanced learner dictionary as well the sound will be quite similar but the transcription is same, different similarly you can also look up this difference in cambridge english pronouncing dictionary it is one of the best dictionary if you want to learn pronunciation or if you are interested in different types of pronunciation so uh, this is the uk you can say british english and this is the american english version all right so if you are interested in phonetics so you must have such type of materials with you uh, these are recommended now if we look up some american and british english diphthongs so uh, there are some examples uh, and their transcription phonetic transcription both in american and british english so you will notice that british english have some more diphthongs as compared to american english if you, if we look up this word poor so in american english it is just a it the it is not you can say a diphthong does not appear in this word but in british, british english it's, it is like poor same is the case with p w -E、r in american english it is peer but in british english it is peer similarly the case um, but in pa both american and british english have diphthongs in but pronounced pronunciation is different it is actually peer peer but in british english it is like pa so actually it is pronounced in this way instead of this we have this sound in some books this pronunciation is given but as far as i know and peter ledford has mentioned or you can say in cambridge english pronouncing dictionary this sound is not mentioned as far as diff this diphthong is concerned i am also going to show you this as well from that dictionary as well then we have pour poor and poor then power and then power so uh, instead of uh, this which is given in the study of language this table is given there we are going to cambridge uh, english pronouncing dictionary which is a more authentic source so this is the cambridge uh, english pronouncing dictionary so now uh, we are also going to listen these words as well which we have just uh, discussed here all right so let's discuss them so uh, the first sound is p w r and let's let me just turn on the magnifier as well so we can also look at the symbol as well all right so p w uh, r all right so it is pronounced like this for as i have told you that in british english it is also pronounced like this but it is also pronounced like this so george jule has given this uh, diphthongs uh, this di this diphthong in the 
uh, in this section uh, in the actually in the table which we have just discussed and in american english it is like like poor so poor if we listen to the pronunciation we notice that uh, there is not much difference as far as pronunciation is concerned let's move forward to the other words so p double e r once again p r so you can uh, look up this small r above this so actually this cambridge english pronouncing dictionary uh, mentions very small details as well uh, which if you are interested so you can uh, learn these as well actually it is actually just mentioning that in british english it might be pronounced sometimes or not but usually not p r but in american english it is this all right uh, the next word which is pair p uh, e uh, you should not be confused by this r sound uh, i shall discuss in the other series i have already mentioned and there i'll describe about this uh, so just forget this for example uh, if you look up this word in the oxford advanced language dictionary so you will not find this word so uh, it is also uh, uh, oxford advanced language dictionary also mentioning it in brackets which means it can be pronounced or it uh, cannot be pronounced but usually uh, in standard british english or you can say the british english with which more prestige is attached especially rp etc there r is not pronounced in such cases N next word p o u r poor poor all right and uh, what george will has mentioned about this p o u r p o uh, p o uh, it is also mentioned a uh, uh, a show as well so if we look up the pronunciation of p o u r p o u r both in oxford advanced language dictionary and Cam cambridge english pronouncing dictionary they have not mentioned that shaw sound just after this which is mentioned by george jule so it might be possible that george jule has mentioned uh, th that pronunciation which maybe might be uh, appearing uh, some time ago or it might be appearing in some varieties of british english but if you look up in this oxford advanced language dictionary so that shaw is not mentioned and same is the case which english uh, cambridge english pronouncing dictionary as well but if you uh, listen to the pronunciation you will notice that uh, they are quite uh, similar they are quite similar all right uh, but there is even then there is small difference which uh, at that time at this time we might not be heard because uh, we might not have uh, very great skills in pan uh, phonetics but by, by the time we are able to do this so same is the case with other words as well now we are just going to discuss subtle individual va variation so actually as we have discussed that there are lot of vowels difference among different varieties of english for example there is this vowel as well which is the combination of shaw and or and it is known as shaw all right so for example if we pronounce uh, transcribe power without r so uh, we can transcribe it like this especially this is used in american english then sometimes a same word a same word can be pronounced by different vowels in different varieties of english this word caught if you look up this word in uh, in cambridge english pronouncing dictionary or in oxford advanced language dictionary so oxford advanced language dictionary it mentions that the pronunciation of caught bo is same in both british and american english but as i have mentioned that cambridge english pronouncing dictionary also covers some other varieties of english so it has mentioned that it, in british english it is caught but in Brit uh, american english it might be caught or caught so uh, this is how uh, vowel might vary from one v uh, variety of english to the other interestingly this caught sound caught the vowel in caught might be pronounced like this which is caught all right then uh, we have uh, uh, 
some other individual uh, its subtle variations as well for example this sound is concerned so uh, usually uh, this sound this sound is used when in words like bet bet in ipa transcription instead of this instead of this this sound will be used in bet however where this sound appears when we have a diphthong then ipa use this symbol as the first element of a diphthong let me show you this from both dictionaries so here in cambridge english pronouncing dictionary you can notice that p a i r pa pa is mentioned like this all right but in ipa i have told you uh, that if uh, there is a word like b e t bet then this sound will not be used this sound will be only used as the first element of a diphthong all right pa and uh, one thing more one thing more i want to tell you that cambridge english pronouncing dictionary is uh, deals with the pronunciation of english and pronunciation of english in different varieties of english but when we talk about ipa so in ipa we cover all the symbols actually ipa has symbols for all the languages of around the world or most of the languages which of which data is available to the ipa so therefore ipa is uh, transcribe it like in, uh, like this so however uh, once again it we shall discuss this aspect as well in uh, the other series or some time other all right uh, there is also a sound like this which is known as wedge sound and some people are confused with this sound and this sound and so they consider that both sounds are same they are not same this sound is actually a little bit longer in length and it, it is pronounced in word like cut cut so if i pronounce cut like uh, with this word sound so i say cut but it i if i pronounce it like this i say cut 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 and cut all right and usually this shaw sound shaw is the sound which appears which appears very frequently other than any other vowel in english all right and even we can say in other languages as well but as far as english is concerned it is the most frequent sound occurring at different places and it usually comes in the stressed syllable or oh, sorry unstressed syllable for example we have a word afford so it will appear in the you can say in the unstressed syllable this is a stressed syllable let me show you this from dictionary as well one more time so we have some good concept about this all right so you can see afford 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 this is british english and this is american english in american english it means it is pronounced something some like differently all right uh, and one more word in collapse the word collapse collapse so once again this appears in unstressed syllable the stressed syllable is marked with this symbol so what are the stress and unstressed syllable it is also another topic which we shall discuss uh, later so i just want to make you very clear about this uh, all right so i hope you have understood uh, this lecture there are some other uh, variations as well like we have uvular sound like this r which is usually pronounced in the french version of this word rouge and there are some other vowels as well so this is all about today's lecture don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you